Okay, we need a little music. Because this is it. The final stream. The finale. To the offline journey in Monster Hunter 2. That's right. We're going out there and we're going to slay the Camellios. With the end of the ancient phantom comes the end of Monster Hunter 2. At least for now. While there are no longer any servers, because one day Dundorma will come back and the playthrough will resume. But until then, this is it. This is the big finale and the final showdown. Let's bring the let's bring the game back up. We're, g we're gonna go. We're th <laughs> bringing I'm bringing the energy. I'm bringing the hype. Welcome, Avrintia. I know. Oh, it'll be so anticlimactic. No way. I I hope not. I hope I don't kill it in just two seconds. Yeah. Hi, Pops Weasel. Yeah. This is this is. Until, because I don't want to use the Giga Proto Patch. I don't want to go to Dundorma by myself. Like, that defeats the whole purpose. So, until the until the fan server comes up, the private server, this is indeed it. So, I'm going to grab everything. I was going to go out and do some gathering, and then I didn't do it. You've never been impressed with Camellios? You know, I... I gotta admit, I wasn't at first, but I... The battle is not very interesting, but I think the design is really cool. That's what I like about it. And like, I I can only imagine the fury that people will have new players coming to this game. Uh, even if they've played Rise or other more recent games, because Camellios is such a troll. Holy shit, man. Um, I actually looked up... I was curious to see what uh, the Rise Camellius fight looks up looks like. So I looked up um, footage of that. And I was kind of... Uh, I was underwhelmed. Like, you can see Camellios for most of the fight. And even when it's half and... When it's, like, only semi-visible. It's, like, so visible. It's basically visible, like, most of the fight. Also, I got Kushala armor. I did it. It kind of it kind of doesn't look great with the rest of the set, I don't think. It doesn't quite mesh, but I didn't bother. I didn't want to bother. Well, I did. I wanted to make the uh, Empress Greaves, the Lunastra Greaves, and I just didn't have the time. I didn't make the time for it. So we're going in with with this. Um. Oh yeah, and I'm bringing. I made some gourmet gourmet steaks, which I'm gonna bring with me, cause uh, it'll help if I get hit by that. By that nasty, nasty debuff again. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly, Maverinthia, stealing stuff. But also, like, the stamina debuff thing that it does is nuts. And I don't even know what the green mist breath does. Like, that didn't... I'm tempted to get hit by that just to see what it is. But I really don't... I think I don't want to know. Maybe it blinds you or something. But anyway, yeah, I watched... I watched some some footage of the game some footage of rise and i was kind of like i said i was kind of bummed i was like man this this fight doesn't look nearly as intri as uh difficult or engaging as in this game okay uh also listen to the i got new sounds with the new armor <laughs> green means healing right yeah yeah, I know a lot of people are disappointed with Rise. Um, it does look like it's decent fun, but it doesn't really... It never really appealed to me. I, I bought it because it was on sale, though, so I will play it at some uh, eventually at some point. It looks like fun in the same way that, like, Wild Hearts looks like fun, you know? It's not... It's not but um, Rise is still closer to... more familiar Monster Hunter territory. Even if it kind of misses out on the point a little bit. 
Oops, wait, we gotta get... I gotta move quick because we're gonna lose... I was hoping to... Also, I used up all my money to make this one armor piece. But I'm hoping to get to... Uh, I'm hoping to get to Camellios in the daytime. I don't know where it's gonna be. Nobody's at the tower. I think I have to go to the... I have to go to Kokoto because it might show up in the forest again. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I don't have time to arm wrestle with you, Shipmaster. I need to go to Kokoto, which apparently is far away. Oh, yeah, it's too much money for too little content, and then Sunbreak is the same way. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Rise. That's, that's a bummer, because World... Oh, they walked back a lot of quality of life from World. Oh, because I was going to say as a comparison point, World, I feel like, was a pretty decent... Ooh, white mine was. I think World is a pretty decent... Um, uh, comparison point. World is like a decent... Uh, if you want to have kind of a halfway point between really hardcore old Monster Hunter and new people, World... Deal world like stands up pretty well now that we have another game to compare against it. Also, Camellios is not here, so I'm gonna save, I think, and I might have to go back to Jumbo actually. Oh yeah, I saw that you got your breathcore hammer, Pop the Weasel. Yeah, it's Boy, that's some grind. I think usually people spend all of that Earth Crystal on the Undertaker, so I'm really uh Props, props to going for a hammer, because people discourage... People often, like, discourage playing hammer in Monster Hunter 1, but it is fun. It is a fun weapon, and it's not bad. It is not bad, like people will say. Dang, I think I actually have to go back to Jumbo and wait for Nightfall to figure out where Camellius even is. Oh, a lot of people that start in Rise can't seem to go backwards. Yeah... I have heard a number of people coming from Monster Hunter World to older games, and I can see that. Rise just seems to play so much differently. Um, oh my gosh, I kind of I kind of love the clinking armor, the kind of rusty armor sounds of the Kushal armor. You can't upgrade it at all, which is a bummer. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I ate my meal already. Hmm. Well, Nightfall's about to fall. Oh yeah, the regular tank combos are trash for the hammer, but R1 is great. Yeah. I mean, that's the that's the meme with hammers. It's, you do the R1 attacks, basically. I think the only time that it makes sense to do the right stick up for first-gen hammer is do no more than two slams. And I think the wind-up is quick enough that they're okay for small monsters. It's okay for small monsters and... Um, if you don't have an element or a status on your hammer. Oh yeah, you started 3 ultimate and went back to monster 1. Yeah, that's- it's funny, I started from 3 ultimate as well. And I came back here... Long time. I came back here after Iceborne, actually. Oh, getting into quest you want or finding a party is much easier in World than Rise. And no SOS flares in Rise anymore. What? That's so weird. You have so much fun playing detective Pokemon in World and showing them off. Oh, you mean like all of the endemic life capturing? Is that what you're talking about? I did. I feel bad that I looked up a guide to get the those little birds, the little po poofy birds that are that are really hard to find. Because I wish I'd just like paid more attention, paid more attention and found them myself. I forget what they're called. Um, oh, you know what? I'll come back and pet Mr. Oink if uh, we can find Cammy, if Cammy is around. Because I've noticed within the same season, Elder Dragons seem to change where they are. So you kind of... Or, or they're not consistent season in the same season or whatever. So it's always worthwhile doing the drinking contest. Yeah, they spawn so rarely and they're hard to get. So yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, oops. I think I did spend a decent amount of time looking... 
uh, without looking up a guide, and that's why I looked up one. Oh crap, I need to actually pay attention. I'm gonna lose this drinking contest. Ah, oh, crap. Because I was I was used to this drinking contest being... Oh, man. Yeah, I think we just have to... I mean, I'll try anyway, because it'll be good practice. I'm used to there being only, like, three button presses for these. And then they started adding, like, five and seven out of nowhere. Okay, we get to see her victory pose, I guess. And we're, we're out cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rematch. This is the easier mini. This is the easier mini game. I'm gonna beat it. Oh, the harder mini game is the arm wrestling with the shipmaster. I I beat him once, but only once. Oof. I was hoping I was gonna beat her by like three. Oh, I barely beat her by three drinks. Yeah, I think I think Sando, who called this game easy and is like super is like a fighting game, you know, connoisseur, so he's like serious. Serious good gamer, Sando. He he said this game was easy. <laughs> he called this game easy, but I think he said that he didn't beat the shipmaster because the button mashing is just very intense. Oh, okay, we had to wait for the nighttime. We had to wait for nighttime. I was hoping to fight Camellios in the day to see if it's any different, but I think it won't be. So, all right. After all that, oh, we lost. We lost some of the energy. Should I play that music again? Maybe I should play that music again. We need the courage of Susano O and. Amaterasu to carry us through this. No, uh, I didn't. Uh, I was mashing buttons to get out of the menu. You know what? I will. Since this is the finale stream, I'll try doing the arm wrestling again before the stream is over. Oh, we did it! Mr. Oink is gonna go get us a, a gift. Mr. Oink is off on his own quest. There it is. The Jungle Mirage! Okay, quickly... We'll do a quick little... We gotta, we gotta do like a little prep music again. Here we are. It's the final hunt. The ancient dragon Camellios, the ancient phantom. Okay, here we go. That's enough. That's enough of that. I'm trying to I'm trying to actually dip into my sound library to make to, to make the streams a little more interesting. Hopefully it works. Yeah, and this shouldn't be too bad. I broke I broke his nose, its nose horn, last time. And I didn't figure out what the sonic bombs or smoke bombs are for. Oops. Um, the smoke bomb didn't seem to help me. If I'm being honest. But yeah. And you know, I know that this is the... We, even without looking up any more details. I know that this is going to be the last quest because or this is the last monster because I have all of the cutscenes unlocked. There are no more question marks in the gallery anymore. Every single one is open. There might be like separate pages for the online, but for the offline, this is it. It's not here. I thought I heard footsteps, but it were it were only me own footsteps, right? Weird. I would have thought it would start in Zone Three because it's so secluded. Maybe it starts in Seven, like Rathian likes to do. 
or Camellios is so sneaky that it is in one of these zones and it isn't moving. That would be the really sadistic thing, because then there's no way for me to know where it is. Camellios doesn't shimmer unless it moves, I think. And, of course, it's not going to make any noise, so it's super... it's going to be super hidden. Oh, wait. No, it's just, like, an artifact. I thought I saw something. It was just, like, a visual... visual noise from the upscaling. From the render. Uh... Anisotropy. Anisotropy? Anisotropy? I don't know how you pronounce that. Seeing textures at an angle. Hi, Maswine. Have you seen a Camellios around here? Because I haven't. And... The Dragon Watch ain't here, neither. It won't be in Zone 6, will it? The, th the funny thing is, I realize I don't know anything about Camellios' ecology. Like, what does it eat? What kind of environments? It seems like forests, I guess, for the cover. It makes it easier to hide. But I'm like, I have no idea where Camellios should be. With other monsters, like, Kongalala loves mushrooms. So, you can, if you know where the mushrooms are, you go there to find Kongalala. And, you know, Rathian keeps good care of its nest, so, she, you know, she keeps good care of her nest, so you go to the nest to find her, and, um, I don't know, she also likes the forest. She seems to like forests. Um, you know, Velocidrome sticks around, like, doesn't tr stick around in open areas very much. Wait, was there the sound of, like, flying? Flying monsters? What is that? You hear that? Is it just wind? Oh, is there just wind in this corridor? It, like, moves from ear to ear when I turn the camera, but I don't think there's... I don't think it's a monster flying in. Gosh, I wasted my hype music too soon. Oh, oh, oh my god. That actually that actually got me. I didn't I didn't think it would. Holy shit. Because it also, like, um, I noticed, I, I realized about halfway through the fight last time that... Oh, there's the gas. Oh. Okay, the gas does the same thing. The gas does the same thing as the vomit. We learned what happens. We learned what the gas does. Oh my gosh, I can't use barrel bombs in here. Also, I'm not cured of the, of whatever the stink is. Healing? What do you mean? I don't understand. Is it healing me? Oh no, it reduces my healing. Is that what it does? Oh, you almost you almost save scummed to get your hammer, but then you changed you got kind of peer pressured out of it. I mean I'll admit, I saved scummed a bunch of my rusted weapons, and now I have also, uh, I've repented my save scummy ways, and I no longer do that. And so naturally, I don't have any rusted weapons this game. Not a single rusted weapon. Um, I have a few in MHG, though. Like, uh... For one thing, Gunnifer... My gunner-only character in Monster Hunter 1 also got rusted weapons legit. And I feel good about that, too. It really depends. I think I was safe scumming in Monster Hunter 1 because I was playing solo a lot. And if you're solo, then it's like, well, whose time are you wasting? You're only wasting your own time by, like, not... You know, by not safe scumming. 
No, uh, redstones usually just give you, like, regular weapons. They give you, like, iron sword plus and stuff. Because each rust stone will gear is always a certain. Uh oh, I'm too close. Thank you, Vest Void. You saved me from a tongue lick. Yeah, you got super lucky to get a rust stone, a rusted weapon on that, on that, uh, on that try. Oh no, I got stuck. No, oh, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be against the wall. That's a bad idea. Dang, first luck rush chart. You better not spend all that luck in one place, you're gonna need it for plates. For Rathian and Rathalos plates. Or you're gonna want it for them anyway. Oh, stole my steak. You nasty beastie. Oh. Let's go this way and we should be okay. See, when I was looking at the, uh, when I was looking at the Rise Camellius fight, there was, like, never any point where it seemed to be totally invisible. Oh, crap. And, like, positioning is so important to Monster Hunter that, oh, that it feels like it's not really that useful. Like, it's not use very, it doesn't help Camellius at all to be able to turn invisible. Because it doesn't turn, like, invisible enough. Aw, oh, dang it. I gotta stay close. Oh, you wanna see if you can beat Lao by the end of the year? By the end of this year? Uh, maybe. If you mean low rank Lao, then probably sure. I'm sure that's like, yeah, you definitely... You can definitely beat low rank Lao. Unless you, like, don't have a lot of time on your hands or something. Uh oh, get away. I love that, I love that, like, roar it makes. Or whatever you would call that. I guess roar is the best word for it. I love the roar it makes when it does that gas attack. Although, the gas attack itself sucks. <laughs> oh, and we've got the, we've got the, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 music, battle music again. Metal Gear Solid 2 style. Oh, gosh, I want to get the tail cut. I'm so greedy. But it's up against the wall, I won't get it. And now that it's enraged, I can at least see where its mouth is. Hope it's leaving. Ah, wind res. Going this way? Yeah. Also, I can't use barrel bombs. Can you, like, not use barrel bombs when it's raining? Or is there something weird about... Something weird about the jungle right now. Yeah, I guess I can't use them while I'm raining. Thanks. Thanks for putting barrel bombs in the box, Hunter's Guild. That really helps. Jeez. Do they not even know the locale and the time of day they're sending me into? What's going on? Oh, dang. Poison killed that best boy for me. Oops. Oh, no. Hit the tail. Hit the tail. Oh, I missed it. You know what? Forget the tail. I don't care about the tail. I want to kill the monster. I'll get... I'll get a Camellio's tail cut when the online eventually becomes... Oh, and, G and GU it goes invisible. Oh, like full invisible? That's cool. At least they preserve that. At least they preserve that for generations. Oh, uh, gosh. I didn't think I got hit that many times in a row, but apparently I did. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little closer so that it doesn't do like a running weird charging attack or something. Yeah, probably gonna go grind HP, HRP, and Monster Hunter One. Yeah, go for it, man. Get on the grind. Oh my gosh, there's already a new Vespoid to take the other one's place. 
Did I already use my ration or did it steal one? I think Camellio stole a ration. Oh no, Vespoid. Vespoid took eight my paintball again. Oh, there it is. Jeez, you can't see it at all. Yeah, Rise Rise really like weakened weakened Camellios, didn't it? Like so many monsters, so many monsters are weaker like by comparison to the hunters, but this one feels like it's just weaker by design. Oh, I think I knocked it down. Or no, I knocked it around a little bit. Oh, antidote. I only have a few antidotes left. I should have bought more. Oh, Cammy did indeed eat a ration. Dang. It's going to have more stamina for the fight. You got at least two weapons to finish upgrading. Oh, Ogre Tusk and Lacerator Plus. Uh, I mean, unless you're using the Lacerator all that much, I would pass on it, because it's not... Like, you'll you'll get, like, a better weapon once you get to, uh, to high rank. It's one of those, like, I never bothered with the Iron Sword tree, but... Like, if you want to get it because it's... If you want to get it because you like the way it looks, then that's cool. But if you want to make it for, like, its usefulness, eh, it's not very useful. Whoop. Oh, not this time. Gotcha. Oh, it still got me with... Oh, huh. Oh, would it be better to stick with the Serpent Blade? Yeah, I would say so. Dang it. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a... I don't have a Farcaster. How did I forget? I forgot Sammy's wise words. Well, I do have a Gourmet Steak. Can I escape? I need to escape so that I can eat it safely. Yeah, like Serpent Blade is so good. It's got such good sharpness. It was so cheap. It's so cheap to make that you may as well like any great sword user should make it. I think. And then when you're in high rank, you'll make like I don't know, even uh, even before high rank, Sigmund is like a really good uh, great sword if you can get the Crimson Horn to make it. And um, uh, what else? Like once, basically. Once you kill Lao the first time, or once you repel it, even. Like, that'll be a decent amount of... Oh, it's right here. Once you slay Lao the first time, that'll be, like... You'll get most of the parts you need to make a... Oh, crap. You'll be able to make the Lao Greatsword, which is, like, the best one you could make. It's like the, it's like the first Greatsword that you make going into high rank, and then you never need to make another one, really. It's kind of sad, if I'm honest, but... I would say the iron... I would say the iron greatsword branch is, is for swag, not for, uh... You know, not for practicality. Nope, oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, there's its foot. Oh, I bounced on it. Oh, repeat for you. Yeah, I I would say sticking with your Serpent Blade is a great. It'll take you all the way through low rank. And when you get to high rank, you'll basically get, like, the best great sword almost right away. The Lao Great Sword is amazing, and it's real. It's surprisingly easy to make. Um, it's, like, got the highest raw damage of any great sword and decent dragon element. Um, I think you need Dragonite or something, or Firestone to make the upgrade, but the upgrade is not hard to get, um, but that's, like, not hard to get, you know. Especially, oh, crap. Do I have any more, I have one more antidote. All right, let's hold on to the antidote for now.
Yeah, the loud dra yeah, the uh, red dragon sword. I forget which one is first. The I think loud dragon sword is the final version. But yeah. You'll be able to make the dragon swords like a as soon as you get to high rank basically. So, yeah. I think my advice with the iron with like the lacerator is just make it for make it for it being cool. Ooh, we got the tail cut. Nice. All that, all the, all the, all that pickaxe, pickaxe mode paid off. Oh, still in my mega potions. But the way I see it, the mega potions are a buffer. Mega potions and gourmet steaks or stuff are a buffer for the regular potions, which I will need. Uh oh. Oh wait, can it not wait? Did the tail kill its invisibility? It can't be invisible now? Is that what's happening? Oh my gosh. Oh, you get you get more tip than this in later games. I I yeah, by uh context is important. You get more you get more tail, like a longer tail in, in later games, yeah. Gosh, it does it really does just hang out like not doing anything for a lot of the fight, doesn't it? Wow. The power of invisibility is in this tale. Show me your secrets. Dragonite. Oh, I only got one tail carve and I got I got the one item that I can get somewhere else. Son of a gun. I don't even, I don't even know what the, um, I don't even know which of the actions is the frustrated one. Is it Yoro, is it Yorokopu? No, that's cheering. Oh, it's this one. Shigaru. Whatever ends with, it ends with Shigaru. Alright, anyway. I think we're doing good, we're doing good. I gotta keep up the pace, though. If the clock runs down to 25 minutes and I haven't killed it yet, then we have to go... We have to go after it again. Oh, weird. There's no pink dot, though. Like, it's still stealthy. It's stealthy enough that, um... Oh, it's limping! Holy sh... Holy shmolies. Holy simoleons. I don't think I've seen an Elder Dragon limp. Or if I have, it's been a long time. It is weird to see it. It is weird to see it moving around now that it's not invisible all the time. The last bosses of Monster Hunter games always seem weak and are mostly for oh cool monster. Yeah. Like Nergigon, I think of like Nergigante is like not actually very strong, but it is cool. It's got the it's got that rule of cool going. Oh come on, do the ah! Oh, I was trying to clap. Wonderful. It wouldn't be a Monster Hunter finale if I didn't get paralyzed by a best point. No, you're right. Nergigante isn't the final monster. Oh yeah, Xenojiva, right? In in Base World. Ah, oh, crap. Which, yeah, Xenojiva is like weirdly weak to poison and also like just not not all that strong in general I guess although I went to Ner I, I think I tried to slay um, I tried to slay Xeno with the um, Zora Magnaros great sword which is not the best you're right it does it did look cool Xeno Jiva looked really cool Wow. Oh, I got poisoned again. <laughs> okay, mega potion time. Oh yeah, something I wanted to point out, by the way, while we're fighting Camellios, is that it seems to me Camellios is the only monster that can move its eyes. Like, you think about it, like, none of these monsters in any Monster Hunter this early... 
none of the other monsters in this or Monster Hunter 1 can actually move their eyes around. Like, they don't look in any different direction. Oh, Sapi Jiba was disappointing, huh? I never got that far. I never got as far as Sapi Jiba, but I... One of these days I'll go back. One of these days I'll go back to World and I'll fight it. I'll go back to Iceborne. The big hang-up for me is that I want to fight third generation Elatrion first. Yeah, Safi is just a red dragon. Yeah. Because I keep hearing about how Elatrion is kind of a neat fight and Fatalis is like so many people's favorite monster hunt that I just, I want to fight it. I want to really fight it. Now that I fought the original Fatalis, I want to go through this new one. Oh, that was my last antidote. No. Best boy, new, get out of here. Come on, it's limping. How much health could it have left? Oh, okay. Eh. Gosh, I like jittery, jittery through its body collision. I did it. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's the final mon. Well, the final monster is Best Void. That's bugging me right now. Best Void. Get in here. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I got a bow to the monster. Well fought, Camellios. The better battler came through. You are not a very interesting fight, but a pretty cool monster. Well, I shouldn't say that. The fight is interesting, it's just not very difficult. Cool monster, very cool. I like Camellios. I was kind of lukewarm on it last time because the fight isn't like crazy cool and weird. And the music is not my favorite music. Teo, Nana and Teo still have the best music, but Camellios is pretty awesome. Espoid, such disrespect. You hit the Camellios when it was already dead? Come on. Yeah, it is done. I wasn't sure I would kill it in this one, but I did. Look at that. I wonder if we can make that light bow gun. Or, um... Oh, there's a, uh, Camellios... There's a Camellios longsword. Oh, look at that. That icon is amazing. Uh, let's go check the info books. I want to see if there's an info book. Now that I've slain it, there should be an info book for Camellios, maybe? Because there wasn't one before. Settings. Yes, of course, settings. Always settings. Uh, no, you don't sell the book. What am I doing? Nope. No Camellios info book. Not here in the village, anyway. I wonder if she says anything. I want to check with her and the Wyvarian Eminence and see if they say anything different. <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. Breed, indeed. When it's warm like this, I get sleepy. Okay, she doesn't say anything new. Nobody in the village said anything about Camellios, so I'm not surprised that they don't really notice now that I've slain it. Uh, let's check with the blacksmith and granny. Oh, weird. I know that there supposedly is a longsword made out of Camellios materials. Maybe you need the legendary artisan to make it? Nope. You just make the, uh, Lunastra one. Yeah, the, the, okay, the legendary artisan is just for Tuscator, Tuscator stuff. Ooh, remember bra mask. <laughs> the heck? I need a remo bra skull, what? That must be pretty rare. All res down, but handicraft, held up and stamina. That seems kind of, I don't know if it'd be useful. 
Oh, we gotta check all the all the stuff. Remembra body. Oh, we could cosplay as a Remembra. Uh oh. Although I wonder if this gives you like another color, another um, armor color. Remember Ross said is nice looking. You know, I think I've seen this in Generations, in G in GU. They have this again. Oh yeah, and I had the healer and helper suit, which is the like quest quest ladies. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is almost like a, a barber. It's like a barber outfit. Oh, it's also in Rise. Oh, of course it is. Because Rise has, uh... Rise has a remember bot too, doesn't it? Done it. Done in it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and it's so nice to have the, uh... It's so nice to have the new music. As well. Oh yeah, Kushala waist pieces. I finally got webbing, so I can see what they even look like. Oh! The belt, the skull belt. That's just that's just fashion. All all resistances down sounds pretty bad, but I would at least get that belt. Oh my gosh, these skirts are huge. Remember about feet. Oh, cool! They're kind of <laughs> they're kind of like bell bottoms, and they're even blue. Oh, it wasn't a very jumbo finale. What do you mean? Well, I didn't say it was over. No, no, no. We may have slain Camellios. But yeah, there's no... Yeah, there, where's the credits cutscene? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... There's one more monster we haven't hunted yet. There's one more. Maybe you thought I forgot about it. Maybe maybe some of you forgot about it. But there's one more monster. Something more powerful, more terrible. A more terrible monster. Than I would expect to fight. In fact, I'm going to change my sword, because I think Dragon Element is not good against it. And I'm going to restock. Because um, I mentioned Sando earlier, who is like serious, like a serious... Um, uh, he plays games real serious. Like, he's way better than I am, certainly. Way better than most people. And he said that Monster Hunter 2 was e easy game. He said it was not very hard. But this one monster was difficult. This is coming from, you know, Monster Hunter is not a hard game guy saying this monster is difficult. And it's a good time to take the midstream break. So with that bombshell, I'm going to, I'm going to take my midstream break a little bit early ahead of the real final monster, the true finale. The true jumbo finale. I don't expect to slay it either, but I am going to give it a good try. And, uh, hopefully we can make this work. So here. Uh, we need ominous music for this one. I'm going to say right now. Uh, I think I could put it at, like, this level. Here we go. Uh, I hope the loop works. Let's see. Does the loop work? Uh, it might be a little funky, this loop. It's not too loud. But I'll be back in just a few minutes from the midstream break for the real final monster.
All right, I'm back. Let's uh, fade that out nice and easy. All right. So the nice thing about this is that I can actually keep this monster a secret right up until we actually see it. Oh, wait, Mr. Oink. Oh, I forgot. I got to check Mr. Oink. Mr. Oink found a, uh, found a, a some item. What'd you get us, Mr. Oink? Last time I got Macalite. A bug net. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Oink. You're great. I could just buy these at the, at the stall, but don't, don't tell Mr. Oink that, okay? Mr. Oink, we gotta use it. We gotta give Mr. Oink lots of encouragement, okay? Mr. Oink is a good pick. A good pookie. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess it's jungle ele onion and elder bean for breeding. This is the best. This is the best combo that I have figured out so far. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this monster is really tough. I've never fought it in any other game either. Much like Camellios. Much like Camellios, I have not fought this monster elsewhere. Um, gosh, do I need anything else? This will have to do. If I really need to eat... I've got my barbecue spit, right? If I really need to make more steaks. So yeah, that'll be good. I'm out of mega potions, though. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this will work. I might need to restart my game to make this work. Um... Because when this game came out, there were some connectivity features that they did with the PSP and Monster Hunter Portable 1. Well, at that time, it was just Monster Hunter Portable. I don't have a copy of Monster Hunter Portable or a PSP. And even if I did, I can't connect them to my uh, the emulator. Like, the emulator doesn't support this kind of connectivity thing. But... Back in the day, you could unlock this hunt by connecting your PSP and going to, like, the main menu and special settings in the main menu, and you would be able to fight this monster as if it had crossed the barrier, as if it had crossed through the cable from Portable into Monster Hunter 2. Um, apparently, there were other ways to hunt it. There's, like, an event. There is an online event where you can hunt this monster. But otherwise, it's unavailable in this game. Um, I also don't know where it's going to spawn, so let's go. We're going to have to hunt around for it. Maybe... Oh, I should have checked for the Dragon Watch. They probably know where it is. I have a feeling it might be in Zone 6, actually. <laughs> so I'm cheating. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating. Um, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not going to save after this, because... <laughs> exactly because it feels like cheating. Um, but I, considering how difficult this monster supposedly is, I don't think I'm going to beat it anyway. I don't think I'm going to beat it. So I'm not going to get any new parts. Any new parts for new armor or new weapons. Oh, we get a cutscene! Perfect, perfect. Here it is. Exclusive from Monster Hunter Portable. Yan Garuga. Scarred, actually, I guess. I should have brought antidotes. I forgot, because it knows poison. Look at that. It's cool. It's got like a scruffy neck. This is how... I wish Monster Hunter G had done its subspecies like this. But I understand that they, like, didn't have any time to do anything. So it's kind of fair. It's fair that they just did recolors. Ooh, new music. I don't know what else this guy's gonna do. I'm really worried. 
MIDI intensifies. It's true. So the MIDI in, Mon in Classic Monster Hunter is pretty intense to start with. I have a feeling this is taken straight from Portable as well, this music. Help me, Velocipre. Ronpost, come to my aid. <laughs> okay, see you, Pop the Weasel. Oh man, I'm bouncing. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Apparently it does some Rathian moves, not just the fireball. But apparently it does like a tail flip. Runpo saved me. Okay, let's see. I wasn't bouncing on its head. And yeah, maybe it's legs. Uh oh. Ooh, I like that roar. That's a cool monster roar. Oh, the flip. Oh, in the very tip of the tail, I was able to hit it. Oh, what's it gonna... Oh, get some... Oh. No, do the thing. Ah, uh, why didn't... It didn't do the thing. I didn't do the sword. Actually, you know what? Since there was a cutscene, maybe I will save after this one just to have the cutscene in my library. Yeah. Oh, that roar. I love that sound. I didn't know if I was going to like Yanka Ruger or not, but this is a cool monster. Holy crap. Like, they actually made a Yankuku scary. Oh, they nerfed the roar and world? Yeah. I mean, people are going to use earplugs so much anyway, I bet they don't like... I bet a lot of people wouldn't notice. Ooh, yeah. Poisoned. I don't have any more antidotes, so I'm probably dead. I'm probably, like, super dead at this point. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh my gosh. Ran post. Yeah, you love the sound. Yeah. It's a good... It's such a good roar. What is it? it it's almost like a... It sounds a little robotic in a way, which, I don't know, just makes it all the more odd and appealing. Ooh. Is this a... I wonder if this is supposed to be specifically like a scarred young Garuga, or is it like... Because I know its head has been broken, which I guess maybe that's like... Maybe the head has been broken so that you don't bounce on, like, every part of it. Maybe that's the implication. The head is, like, the only soft spot apart from the legs. Because I'm bouncing on the wings and the tail most of it. Gosh, it's going aggro. It's going nuts. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die from that. Oh, oh, I should... I thought I could die. You love fighting Garuga for the roar? Yeah. I was going to try and dodge roll away from the flip, but I waited too long to do that, and I should have kept my uh, sword up. Because now I don't have a health boost. That's a real problem. Boy, I don't know. Maybe Renthia, what do you think? How do you think? Uh, what do you think of my chances after that display? What do you? Oh, and I didn't clear the con. Well, considering that there are congas still in Zone Three because I didn't clear them out. Uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to do so well. Oh, 
Although it is leaving already. 60%? Okay. That sounds pretty generous, actually. I would have put my chances a lot lower than that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, conga. Oh, the other conga. Oh, did it kill that? No, it didn't kill. It stunned the other conga. Oh, weird. It doesn't, like, shoot fireballs side to side like Cuckoo does. So that running attack seems like it's a little easier to deal with. If nothing else. Oh, great. Ah, the congas are gonna get- the congas are gonna kill me in this one. I was able to work them around the Velociprey, but I gotta kill the congas. Can't let them live. Come on, Garuga, kill the conga. Oh, it did! Nice. Oh, nope. Nope. I I dodged too early. Also, I am going to paintball. I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling you missed it early, Maverinthia, but I did have to use... I had to use a code. I had to use a cheat code to even get this quest. So, I don't know. I think we're going to have to put it up to judgment after the quest is done whether I get to keep whether I get to keep uh, to save after this quest or if I have to like you know if I have to give in on like the premise of uh, cheat code not not being valid way to get this quest Ooh. I already carded once The charge seems to be very easy to bait. Oh, I got around it. Oh. Unless well, their technology, so code is valid. Yeah, you think code is valid? That's cool. Ah, oh, crap. I mean, I like your logic. Because the, the, um, the alternative, the, the way I understand it, it, even on hardware, it was really annoying to get this quest because you had to, like, you had to, like, reconnect your PSP every time you wanted the quest. Like, the quest would leave your quest list as soon as you were done, and the only way to get it back was to go into the thing again. You had to go, like, into the menu and do all the, all the network stuff again. Or all of the connection and stuff. Oh, I hoped I could dodge it, but I didn't dodge it. Oh, I broke it. I broke a wing. Oh, an ear. Come on, hit the tail. Oh, I bounced. Oh, it's hopping mad. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, what? Oh. 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 Invulnerability didn't last long enough to save me. I'm not- I need to take this fight more seriously, I think. I think that's my problem. My problem. Okay, let's cook up a steak so that we don't end up with, like, none. With zero. And I'm gonna give this Garuga what for? Wait the heck? It actually goes up to zone 10? What is this madness? A, mo a large monster on the little island up there? That never happens. Nobody does that. 
What is this? I've, I have never seen a monster go up to zone 10 in this whole game. But I guess maybe Angaruga, I guess because it's daytime it'll go there. Garuga isn't a joke like Cuckoo is. Yeah. Uh, poor Cuckoo. It's like, um, Cuckoo is relegated to the likes of, like, um, Arzuros and all, all the other, like, early monsters that, like, can't be difficult by definition. But, like, not the very first monster. So, like, the first time they're kind of intimidating. Oh, where's it going? Don't tell me Karuga is actually going to, like, nap. I mean, I had an impression that Garuga was pretty intense. From the fact that it's like a late game, it was a late game addition to Iceborne, or was it Base World? I think Base Monster Hunter World may have had it. Like, you don't add a monster like a Yankuku to, you know, like kind of end of life patches on Monster Hunter World, but you would add a Garuga. And of course, now that I've fought this one, I'll have to fight the regular... I'll have to fight the world's version of Garuga. Oh, well, nope. I don't get to attack today. There we go. Like, the very tippy tips seem to be soft enough. They're soft enough I can hit them. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that the tail does that on all monsters. All monsters' tail do that. Gosh, are they working together? The Velos and Cook the Velos and Garuga, I almost called it Cuckoo. I think that I think that's why he's really angry. I mentioned Cuckoo. Don't you talk that way about my little brother. Oh, it'd be great if I got, like, an info book. Because I got this quest. But I don't think so. Oh, I cut his tail. That must be a weak tail. Ooh. What a, what a shot. What a good shot. Garuga, you're a crack shot. Snipe that Vela right out of the air. Whoop. Okay, I think the tail I think its range is actually impacted, but I don't know. Whoop. Uh oh. Black it, black it, black it, black it, black it. Ooh, barely. Someone said this is what happens if Rathian and Cuckoo had a baby. Oh, no. The love child of Rathian and Cuckoo. Oh. The heck? Did it do, like, a mini roar and then wind pressure? Because I feel like I, I got, like, like kind of double short stunned there. Okay. I'm kind of in, I'm in, like, combo range right now. I could die to a combo. Oh man, Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Why am I saying Cuckoo? Garuga. Garuga, Garuga, Garuga. Has some really good aim with that fireball. Oh, oh. This happens to me with Rathian all the time, too. She'll, like, she'll land on me when I'm trying to set up the greatsword. When I'm trying to set up the charge. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I was asking for that. It's, uh, it's charge happy right now. I think it's gonna charge again, actually. Nope. But it will do that. Oof. 
Okay, what's your next move? Oh, it can't hit me now. Oh, I bounced. Why'd I bounce? By the flip. I must have hit the wing talon. Roll quickly. I just I'm just trying to get like as many hits on it as I can before it hits me again. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, we gotta do the swag. Swag move. Yes! Kind of. I was expecting it to do a charge again. I was expecting it to charge into me and I would get the like I would stagger it with the with the charge swing, but I guess not. Okay, woof. Tail carve, 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 carve. We're gonna carve the tail. Oh, I got a tail. How about that? I assume Garuga gets its theme in World, right? It gets its theme like remixed. Does it sound good? Does it sound as good as this or better? Oops. I was gonna sharpen up. I guess not. I guess I'm not gonna sharpen up. It really has a lot of Rathian. It has a lot of Rathian energy. This Garuga. This Garuga fellow. With the occasional cuckoo move. Quickly, quickly, eat the potion quickly. We only have so many left. Oh, I rolled into it. Oh man. You know, from the right angle, that remaining little ear looks like a nasty little, like, curled devil horn. Which I think is perfect. I think that's a perfect look for a Garuga. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna get hit. Oh. Oh no. Oh, you're not even going to attack? Okay. Oh, man. Too smart. Garuga too smart for me. Oh, man. Wow, once again. I'm, like, not holding down the direction, I think. There, for some reason, I'm just not dodge rolling. I'm not dodge rolling in the direction I want to. Out of being, like, knocked down and stuff. Okay, we got to try it at least once. Whoop, not that one. That is not what I was expecting. We got fireball time. Oh! I don't know this monster's patterns, clearly. I was sure it was going to fireball again, but then it just charged me. Like, insta frame one charge. No, no, no. Okay. I don't know why it's fireballing when I'm so close. Okay. Gotta get, gotta get up as close to 100 as I can. Oh, at least I hit it. I hit it before it got the roar. That's good. Oh, I don't like I don't like Garuga being over there. That's not good. 
Anyway, I think it's gonna charge now. It did two fireballs. Yeah. I didn't get. Dang it. It seems like two fireballs into multiple charges, subsequent charges is three. I want to say three, two fireballs, three charges, right? Okay, no. Oh, this is bad. And I didn't bring a Farcaster once again. So I don't have any quick egress. I don't have any quick exit from here. I think it's gonna, okay, this is when it charges. It did two fireballs, so it's gonna charge. Yeah. And it's gonna charge again in a second. And what I really need to do is to get somewhere that it can't hit me where I can sharpen. Oof. I'm out of healing now, too, so this is really rough. This is really looking rough. Might fault for not bringing Mega Potions. I, I have some honey, so I could have made some more. Oh, of course it leaves now. Where are you going to? Uh, I don't even want to fight it in Zone 10, because there are going to be more Kongas here, I think. But I got to. I've got to at least go up here, because the paintball horror. Oh, poor Kelby. No, the poor Kelby got caught up in the in the midst of it. And there's the conga. Look at that conga coming. Oh boy, that conga coming. Oh, there are three of them. Look at that. And there's a third one coming behind me. There it is. Uh... I have to get them to, like, hit each other or get Garuga to hit him. Dodge. Oh, close. That was too close. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, the Kanga made him mad. Kanga got Garuga mad. Just trying to manage these monsters now. No, oh, let me wait. Uh, I was trying to dodge to the side and I dodged forward again. I guess I need to like wait a frame to actually turn around. I guess that's what's happening. I'm hitting, I'm like mashing the dodge button to dodge as quickly as possible, but like you, your character needs time to move to turn to change direction. Wait, is it dead? Nope, there it is. Come on, hit it. Come on, get it a little poop. Fireball him. That fireball didn't do anything. Okay, now it's just you and I, Garuga. A battle for all time. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. That was too close. Garuga can't use items now. Yeah. Oh, Garuga can't eat anything, right? 
the whole idea is that you stink so bad that you don't want to eat anything. So now Garuga is going to go hungry. That's how we beat it. We beat Garuga because it's hungry now. Oh, I'm not going to hit it at all. Wow. Okay, wait. One fireball, right? And then two fireballs, and then a... Tr oh, no. Oh, I bounced. Bad, bad bounce. Gosh, I don't even have any items left to use. This is it. Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead. I'm so dead. Okay. I was hoping I had my sword away already because I was trying to do a dive. Oh, okay. Now it's going to charge. Three fireballs and now it's going to charge. Oh, no. It's doing that. Oh, wow. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that. I think it's weak. I think it's weak if it's, like, posturing like that instead of attacking. Oh, no. Bad, bad time. It's a bad time. Run! It's shooting fireballs out the exit. I can't leave. Ooh. Okay. I've still got a decent amount of time to do this quest, and I can <laughs> I can abuse the item box. Also, is there a subquest? There is not. There isn't even like a listing of subquests. Like normally it says subquest one, none, subquest two, none, but there's nothing. This sub this quest doesn't even reward you that well. Holy crap. Holy crab. There we go. Gotta do some scrounging around. I know it's breeding season, so I probably won't find a lot. The one upside to fighting in the jungle during the daytime is that you can get dawn herbs and blue mushrooms if you're lucky. Maybe not in breeding season. That'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> no subquest, only Garuga. Oh, you know why? I have a good, I have a decent explanation why, maybe. Because Garuga is kind of like a subspecies of Cuckoo, and all the subspecies hunts are subquest only. Oh wait, if I end up finding an Excite Shroom, if I find an Excite Shroom somehow, I should have these bomb materials so that I can. Uh, quick, I can do a quick escape if I really need it. Oh, dang. Alright. Well, I've got some Dawn Herbs. But I'm gonna go after, I'm gonna go after Garuga in Zone 7 before it decides to, like, take a nap or something. Uh, this is probably the fastest way. Yeah. I might look up what Garuga's music sounds like in Monster Hunter World, because I'm curious. I'm curious if they uh, ruined it. <laughs> but, or if they made it better. Maybe maybe they did. I know that uh, Teo and Nana's theme is not as good in World as it was in this game. Mostly because they don't... Like, I think they... The drums aren't as prominent in World's version... I think that's part of the problem. Oh, it is, it's limping. Holy crap. Oh, man. I should have dodge rolled like a couple times to get distance. This is a bad place to fight. Get over here. Wow, Ice is doing a lot, is really doing a work for me, huh? Oh no, get out of there! 
Wow, close one. I had a feeling that I thought it was going to do the flip. I thought it was going to do the, like, poison, the, like, tail flip. Not the, uh, not that running move. Okay, what, what, what is this? Okay, that, right, that's the setup for the fireball. I should remember that. Ooh. Big hit time. Oh no. More like big shits time. Because that move was shit. I need to not do that. I've only got one cart left. This is when I should go looking for mushrooms. Because the Velos are going to be a big problem. I can tell you that right now. My swine. I come asking for aid. I already know where the mushrooms are, but... This is like that moment where... All the friends we made along the way are the deciding factor. They make the difference. With the sound of snuffling, grunting moss wine, we will succeed. But I got a choice mushroom? Hmm. Not the best. Uh, but he, it seems like... If Garuga was limping, it seems to me that it went back to its nest to sleep. So I think we did a good job in preventing it from doing that. I think I managed to get it back out. Although, if I really wanted if I really wanted to just succeed at this quest, I guess I could have brought capture equipment. I could have brought a trap and trank bombs. Well, I don't even know if you can capture a Garuga. Maybe you can't. Like, it's too, it's too angry and wild of a creature. Oh, you can capture it. Okay. Yeah, I have so many paralysis sacks that I would just bring... I would just bring shock trap and like some extra materials. Not quite. Oh, okay. Come on, hit it. Oh no! Oh. One fireball took me down that much? I had so much health left. Wow. Well, hey, that's the most you can expect from a new monster, right? That isn't... I've got to say, though, that doesn't seem as hard as I thought it would be. It just hits really hard. Like... And I was doing decent enough damage to kill it, or even capture it, so... Yeah, I was expecting Garuga to be, like, impossible, but it just... It's just a really fast, heavy-hitting monster, like, like it should be. It's difficult, don't get me wrong. This is a tough fellow. Uh, but I could see my... I guess I could see myself beating it, but I almost don't... I almost don't want to say that because I think uh, I think this is a time to close out the stream. I can at least see if like getting the tail unlocked anything, right? There's probably some armor piece I can make. Oh, also I noticed black cat stamp takes a dower tail. I noticed that getting so much dragonite, I can actually make this almost, which is just so weird. This paralysis hammer. 
It looks pretty good, actually. Oh, here we go. A lance. A new lance. It takes three Garuga Tails. That's insane. I'm not going to do that. Uh, it also doesn't, like, have good sharpness. But maybe, maybe it's better. Maybe it's better if you upgrade it. It's got to be a ranged one, right? Maybe, maybe not if you only have tail. I do know that the Garuga armor looks a lot like Cuckoo. It looks a lot like Cuckoo with new colors. But I am curious. I don't think I can make any of it. Or I don't think I've unlocked any parts. Dang. Uh, let's see at least if there's Garuga info. Maybe there is. Nope. Uh, let's see. Also, the cheat that I used basically makes, um, it makes, like, whatever quest you go into will become Garuga, so I'm gonna just test. I test and make sure that now that I turned it off that it's not on anymore. Uh-oh. There's a problem. I think I, I might... Maybe the maybe if I reload, it'll be fine, but... Basically, I think I can't... I think I can't save... No, that's probably not the truth. I think it's probably fine. I could probably save on this... Um, I could probably save on this save file. That's not what I meant to do. And if I reload the emulator, the cheat won't be active, but anyway. Let's get out of this quest. I'm not- I'm not doing this again. Like, that took... It took just long enough and it was such a huge effort. Uh... Yeah, well, I'll- I'll leave Vian Garuga for another time. For an online time. I think... I would rather hunt it in the event quest, I think. Because... I have a feeling there are unique materials you can't get offline with it anyway. So it's fine. Oh wait, did I already save? I may have already saved. So, coming out of that other quest. Um, but I think that's gonna be, that's gotta be it for Jumbo. That's gotta be it for Monster Hunter 2 and Jumbo Village. Um, once that private server comes up, I will totally be back though. I am really eager to see how this plays online. Um, but for now... Uh, this is a really great time. I really like this game. I see why there are so many hardcore fans who are crazy about it. Yeah, thanks, Maverinthia. Thanks for stopping by. It's always great. Um, so, I think I'm going to do some one-off streams next week. Or, or, like, just one game both times next week. And then, I don't know, in January, next start of this coming year... I'll have some new playthrough to do. But, uh, yeah, look out for whatever I play this coming Monday. I'm thinking... I don't know. I got Porsche Unleashed working. Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. I think I'm just gonna play that for fun. Because I, lo I love those old racing games. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Um, but yeah. We're saying goodbye to Jumbo Village, but not... Not farewell. Not so long. We'll return one of these days. Oh wait, I've got more music to I've got music to play us out. Uh I've gotta get the mixer open again. Uh and I've gotta find which one it is. Oh here it is. Here we go. The heck? Uh, sorry for that little hiccup. Thank- er- oh wait, no, this isn't quite- No, no, no. We should have- we should go out on Monster Hunter music, what am I doing?
We gotta go out on the title screen. On the title screen, uh, the save the save game screen. <laughs> what am I talking about? Character select. We gotta we gotta see how many hours I've got. We gotta hear the title music. So that yeah. Thank you all for joining me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.